Hey y'all. <laughs> How are you today? I hope you're doing well. You know, I had a thought. Um, this is part two of, you know, something to chew on. <laughs> there are a lot of systems out here. A lot of systems. Some systems we get placed into, we know nothing about. Or we get caught up in stuff and wondering why certain things happen this way and that way and not having any kind of understanding or clue that it's all part of a system. I've made a lot of mistakes when I was younger because of my lack of knowledge, because my lack of understanding of systems and how they worked. Now, when it came to money and finances, <laughs> I didn't realize, even in America, in this country, I didn't realize what we had or didn't have. All I knew was that we did certain things and you just had to do it. So I never got a cash allowance. If I wanted to have money on my own to like be able to go to the bowling alley or roller skating or something, guess what? My dad was like, look, you see this lawnmower right here? And it was a push mower. <laughs> You know, the ones that you push. And uh, that was before he got the electric mower. And that was like all the rage. But he said, well, go on over there to your neighbors. Knock on their door. See if they'll let you cut their grass. And so all I knew, you know, you, you listen and you did what your parents told you to do. So I went over there and, you know, knock on their little door and say, hey, can I cut your grass today? <laughs> And I would cut their grass and they would come out and they look and they thought that if I did a good job, here you go. And they would give me whatever, you know, they felt like giving me. And that's how I had money to be able to go to the fun stuff, you know. Uh, <laughs> my mom had a different concept too, you know. She was very creative and she, you know, made little knickknacks stuff out of ceramics and I remember she made some salt and pepper shakers and she put them in a little cardboard box and said hey go over there see somebody buy some um buy some of this so she had me out there with this whole cardboard box full of her salt and pepper shakers and I'm over here I, I had no clue what I'm doing but here I am knocking on the door ding, ding, ding. hello so you know the person comes to the door I was like, would you like to buy? And I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Here I am holding this box full of stuff. And it's like looking at you, you know, can't can, 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 can buy some of my stuff. <laughs> and they looking at me like, who is this black girl over here? What she got? You know, and then some of them have pity on me because I was a kid, you know. And then I would bring the little change, chump change I made <laughs> back home to mom. <laughs> and after that, I don't know what happened because, you know, all right, go on out somewhere and play. <laughs> and that's what I did. I went out and played. So, and grocery store was all about, y'all, this is how clueless, you know, a child can be. And um, so we went to the grocery store and, you know, I, I was riding in the buggy. You know, when you're that small, you get to ride in the buggy. The lawnmower stuff, the going knocking on door, that's when I was just a little bit older. But uh, I remember sitting in there, and my job was to hold this little box that contained a whole bunch of little clippings that my mom had, you know, taken from the newspaper. And it was called coupons. Now, I, I did not know the meaning of the word coupon and, and, you know, what that was really all about. You know, it was another system. But I did know that we would go down aisles of the grocery store and my mama had me check the box to see 
if they had that product. And so, oh, if I had a piece of paper, one of those little coupons that match the product that was on the shelf, she would get it. If she didn't have that little piece of paper, mm -mm, they stayed just where they were. So that's how uh, grocery shopping was done. And then we would get up to the register. And then next thing you know, my mom is handing a whole stack <laughs> of these little pieces of paper. And cashier, you know, she's got to, you know, type it all into the register. And then my mom brought out her wallet and gave her cash money. Or she wrote a, a check and gave it to the lady. So, but I was totally oblivious, y'all, you know. All I know is we went to the grocery store and we came home with groceries. <laughs> uh, it wasn't until years, many, many years later when I decided to watch a couple of TV shows and, hey, what's that all about? You know, because you forget things as, as you start growing and, and life happens. So, oh... At that moment, not back when I was a little kid, did I understand what was going on. That system was, oh, so if that product cost a dollar and you had this little piece of paper called coupon that says, we'll take 25 cents off of that dollar. Instead of you paying a dollar, you pay 75 cents. Oh, I didn't realize those little coupon things was another form of money. Um, so anyway, but that's a whole different system that you got to look at. Uh, I don't want this video to go too long. So I didn't have a proper understanding, meaning some things you, you got to grow into. It's like... Uh, learning algebra or something. The first year I took algebra in high school, guess what? I flunked. <laughs> Why? Not be for lack of trying to understand. It was just I physically, mentally needed to mature. The little synapses hasn't even formed yet. But when they did form, bam. Oh, you know, the second year I took it, everything start spark, spark, spark. I get it now. You know, and sometimes it is like that. And money is the same thing. It, it's a system. And you learn the system. Uh, that's help for you. So the checking account thing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to make this in this video. Okay. okay.